why is it that when we start a job or a career, we often start with so much energy and motivation and expectation of what the future would hold, and yet as the days turn into weeks, into years, we often find ourselves in a place where the dream is gone, the motivation, the energy is gone, and often we ask ourselves, is this it? Is this, is this what my life is all about? Now, some of us will make a big leap and say, okay, I'm going to find the perfect job. I'm going to resign this one and get a better one. And then we start with the same amount of energy and excitement. And yet, after a while, we find ourselves procrastinating and, and struggling to get out of bed to go to work. Now, my name is Quibus, And for nearly two decades, I've been researching how the mind works and how it plays itself out within the workplace and I've got good news for you and you are not the problem they are <laughs> or maybe I should say you are not the problem the system is the problem it doesn't take us a lot of research to go back to the 18, late 1800s, early 1900s to a guy with the name Frederick Taylor. Now, Frederick Taylor wrote a paper called uh, Scientific Management. And this document, this paper, became the foundation on which all management has been built. Uh, I mean, when you think about management courses and even degrees in management, they all go back to this document. And in this document, Frederick made some crazy assumptions. Uh, the first one and I quote is the average employee is so stupid they more resemble the ox than any other type you also said the average employee will only work so hard as to not get fired now this paper from Taylor uh, laid the philosophy or the foundation for why we think we need management systems in the workplace and so the core thinking is that if this person is stupid uh, the manager needs to think for them we can't allow them to think uh, because they are stupid the other assumption is because they are lazy we would need to control them if we don't control them they won't do anything now, fascinating to look at this from a neuroscience perspective, because from a neuroscience perspective, if I believe that you are stupid and you can't think and I need to think for you, I need to take away your autonomy, your independence, your creativity. And if I think that you are lazy and you need to be controlled, then I need to take away your free will. I need to take away your mastery levels. Now, if I take away those things from you, it numbs the brain. It takes away our energy and it makes us feel pretty useless and ultimately steals our joy. So Kubus, what can we do about that? I mean, if, if that is the system I find myself in, it's not as if I can change the system, can I? Well, can you? I want to suggest that you are way more powerful than what you think you are. And that in fact, you can affect the system from the inside out like a little bacteria or virus just influencing the way you experience the workplace. Now, we can't just sit back and hope that someone will fix the system or that someone else will write a paper on management, right? Because that will make us victims. We don't want to be victims in this. We want to step into the place and change this for us. And I can show you how to do it. With nearly 20 years of experience in this area, I can give you the tools and the tips and the tricks that you would need to take back your autonomy, to become independent in the workplace, to, to become a phenomenal influencer and to become the master of your work. I can teach you how to take more control and feel less controlled. How to get more motivation out of your work and stop procrastinating. I can show you how to find purpose in your work place uh, and stop dreading getting out of bed in the morning but rather become so passionate about your current situation you do not have to change jobs to do this i can teach you to do this right now wherever you find yourself so join me on this journey because there's a lot more to come